It's the 15th anniversary of PA Works, the studio that brought us gems such as Hanasaku Iraha, The Eccentric Family, Nagina Asakara, and the incredible Shiro Bako, amongst many others. Right now, the 15th anniversary project, Kurimukuro, is airing under the direction of Tensai Okumura, who has been doing great storyboard work for PA Works shows for seven years. I recently took to Twitter to ask, when you think of PA Works, what comes to mind? And amongst the huge praise for Shirobako, the disdain for Charlotte, and the reminder that they made a Professor Layton anime, was one consistent praise. Gorgeous art design, fantastic art design, spectacular visuals, great visuals, stunning visuals, and I couldn't agree more. I've been watching Hanasaku Iraha recently as a way to curate good footage for this video, as well as... Well, it's just really goddamn good, and the application of strong background art sets it apart from so many other shows, and it's something I've come to expect from the PA Works show's brand. So here's the people that make that brand valuable. When we think of the words anime studio, we're often entranced with names such as JC Staff, Madhouse and Satellite. Well, you probably don't think about Satellite that much, but I felt like sneaking some dancing robots into this video. Anyways, whilst these studios are credited as animation studios, there are studios specifically for various other departments, whether it be CGI, editing or even the background art. Studio Green, Studio Beho, Studio Bamboo, Studio Easter. It's not important that you remember these art studios' names, but rather know that they exist and that the world of background art is something entirely different, and it's the relationship between these art studios and animation studios that really get things done. But even with talented background artists, just like you need an animation director to employ a visual consistency within animation, you need an art director to do the same. Occasionally, these might be people from one of the art studios on the show, but in the majority of cases, they'll be someone selected by the production studio. And when talking about background art in relation to PA works, well, there's one important name that you should probably remember. Kazuki Higashiji is perhaps one of the most talented art directors in the business, initially working with various art studio- actually, you know what? There's someone who would do a much better job at telling how Higashiji came to be one of PA Works most valuable figureheads. So here is a quote from the man himself. I started working freelance in 2005. I didn't know what was going to come of it and I was really worried about if I could make a living. I started off by going to production companies with my drawings, not knowing how things worked. There were times when I went without an appointment and those times I just got sent away. It was then that I went to Madhouse and they happened to be looking for someone. When I showed them my drawings, I guess they thought I was sufficient and so they gave me the storyboard. From there, I got to work with Satoshi Amai on Paprika, I was then allowed to work on other Madhouse projects, and the first project where I was the lone art director was Ride Back. Horikawa-san happened to watch it, and that's when he started talking to me. That's from an interview included in the Hanasaki Iraha Collector's Edition, and that show is a particularly good example of his work. You'll find that Higashiji's art is often complemented by the bright and brilliant character designs of Konami Sakaguchi, and it's a match made in heaven. The Horikawa-san he mentioned there is the CEO, founder and producer at PA Works, Kenji Horikawa. It was him who brought Higashiji onto Angel Beats, and ever since then, he's been regarded as a huge influence on the shows he's worked on. In an interview last year regarding Nagina Asakara, director Toshi Ashinohara and producer Mitsuhito Suji regarded Higashiji as being hugely influential to the world design itself, particularly the beautiful Greek houses. It's not like this is all just industry stuff either. Nagina Asakara is perhaps one of the most beautiful series you'll watch, and it's no surprise that even now, two years later, Higashiji is still tweeting about his favourite moments from the show. And 
what can complement PA work shows is the application of a fairly modern animation technique. 3D backgrounds can be incredibly effective at displaying certain moments with cinematography that may not have been plausible 20 years ago. Shots like this are the result of PA Works' in-house CGI studio, something that the majority of animation studios, particularly one of this size, just don't have. What I think has now been expanded into PAX, the studio is, and will continue to be, an invaluable part of the PA Works brand. I mentioned the PA Works CEO contacting Higashiji and this wasn't a rare case. With a fairly small studio, Kenji Horikawa's presence on every show as a producer is a great thing and allows for great new projects to come about driven by something personal. Shirobaka was apparently planned out whilst Horikawa and director Tsutomi Mizushima were riding the train and you've got to expect that much chill from someone who sets up their HQ in Nanto City which for reference is all the way over here. PA Works even produced an anime about the city itself called Koitabi True Tours Nanto, as well as a tourism app of the same name. So, if you were to go to Nanto and go to, uh, let's say, Inami, the app will unlock the episode of Koitabi that takes place in Inami. And with community spirit like that, it's no surprise that the mayor regarded PA Works as a signature of the city in a recent presentation. Whilst the huge majority of anime is produced entirely within Tokyo, PA Works having two offices, one in Nanto and the other in Tokyo, could easily be said to have an effect on their work. Although Horikawa mentioned that it was a hard time finding anime staff, so far from what is regarded to be the centre of anime production in Japan, for every disadvantage, there's an advantage, because surely you're going to enjoy looking out of your window and seeing this, rather than having to see this, because Nanto is beautiful and the best answer PA Works staff gave for what the hell are you doing here essentially came down to fucking look at it, why wouldn't you want to make anime here? PA Works even set up the community research and support centre known as Paras to help develop the city of Nanto and community initiatives. In the final episodes of PA Works' 10th anniversary show, Hanasaku Iraha, they all visit the Bombori Festival. It was a stunning episode, providing a beautiful conclusion to the series, as well as showing us another great example of what PA Works art design is all about. The Bombori Festival was a powerful way to show off these moments of character, and it's an entirely fictional event. Or at least it was, until Paris made it a reality for the people of Toyama Prefecture. The event is currently in its fifth year of making anime into reality. It's a part of a tight-knit community and in itself is a tight-knit company. Only producing a few shows a year, you can expect a PA Works show to involve a large amount of PA Works animators, which, due to the increased use of freelancers, can be a rarity and it does wonders for visual consistency. In the credits, you'll see the section for key animators here, and a PA Works show will always have a section for its own animators to credit the talent that came from within those walls. So to recap, PA Works has a strong relationship with some of the best art studios and art directors in the business, has its own in-house CG studio, is connected to the community and city of Nanto, employs talented character animators and is run by a CEO with this sort of hands-on approach that results with Shorobako being made. And to that, there's really only one thing left to say. Happy birthday PA Works! Masane.